Oh, Falcon X Falcon. No. <laughs> so we're gonna Falcon X Falcon. <laughs> okay, so he's going to open no, Mario. Okay. <laughs> um, this is an interesting matchup because I feel that Mario has fantastic combos on Greninja when he gets in, but the problem is getting in. Yeah. His mobility compared to Greninja's and his range are what makes the matchup a little not so bad for Greninja. I mean, Greninja's like to approach from the like from the angle, though. Yeah. That, that, ca that causes issues, like, again, with Mario, Mario Bros. matchup is throwing up smash. Um, wow. All right, Opens the patience. right with an air. <laughs> Yeah, so is this the shiny Greninja or is the shiny one red? This is the shiny. The shiny, um, okay. Unfortunately, the tongue is not the right color. Oh, wow, wow great read. A reads the air dodge into the platform, gets the full up smash. Usually, that, you don't get that on the platform. Nice back airs. So, Ooh. shout out to the new Pokemon. Um, hopefully, Greninja gets nerfed in the next Pokemon game. Cheesecake using her powerful disjoints right now to keep Mario in the air, which is a really effective strategy. Oh, wow. Walks away, doesn't have smash, but she gets the dead zone. Yeah, see, this is this is getting it right here. Uh, cheesecake not getting grabbed. Very nice. Playing Nair the matchup correctly. Upper. Yep, running around, not letting Mario get in and grab her. That's just kind of a Mario Bros. thing. Uh, I mean, it's like Sonoda was saying. Uh, you don't want to fight. I mean, Mario himself Ooh, doesn't, wow. doesn't want people on the same level as him because he doesn't have the kind of range to deal with it. So you want to grab people and throw them upwards. You get a lot of free damage. Yeah. That was a really nice pivot grab at the ledge. Uh, read a, a regular get up and then read the spot dodge, too. Um, Maybe you want to see something out of that jab two for the Yeah, kill. I think that she was looking for the forward smash just a little bit too early. Maybe there. didn't come out. <laughs> this is the only kind of hard part of the matchup, I feel like, for Greninja, just like landing that KO on Mario. And she gets right. the down throw fair, traps that jump, takes stop, stock one. It's at 66%, not too bad. And we start. <laughs> There's yeah, the second one. Begins. How many are we going to get here? <laughs> he tried, she tried to land with the up air, which doesn't have a hitbox below Greninja. We're going to see up throw up air. Just lets him land. Ooh, Ooh, just a little bit late This there. is the timing on the case, and then eats an up smash. This is, okay, this is the hard part for Mario. Yeah, the range on the up smash, man. You can't really land around Greninja. If you're in, if you're in fastball, uh, sometimes it's almost just better to go with the ledge against him. Absolutely. He's a strange character, man. I mean, you can't really say that he's bad, but you also can't really say that he's like, been proven to be that good yet either. Yeah, I hear you. But, um, I, mean, I really like um, WTTD's DI on those up throws. He's, yeah. he's really limiting Cheesecake's opportunities to follow up off of that. But for what we're seeing is just like a really patient game from Cheesecake, just like tramping his landings. Um, okay, gets the back hit of the down smash. That's definitely going to kill. But Kim's got a really nice lead. Let's see how she can get, um, if she can close it out and take game one. Yeah, man, this is where you don't want to start fishing. This is where you want to be really careful about, uh, well, first of all, I mean, this is where a lot of uh, inexperienced players can be ahead and lose a match. Yeah. Um, they'll, they'll be thinking, man, I got to get this KO as fast as possible. But if you, if you realize, you know, that you've been building up this damage, like, you had to get to 127 somehow. So, uh, usually, I mean, thinking about it that way and then being like, okay, well, I got to 127, I can probably get him up to, you know, kill percent and, and get an actual setup that I don't have to guess for. Right. Um, so that, that, that's, where, that's where a lot of inexperienced players run, run into issues. Oh no. Uh -oh. Okay, she's fine, she's fine. <laughs> the platform was there to save the day. Otherwise that cape might have come out. Probably about uh, 10 more percent, I would say, an up throw is gonna kill. Probably about right about now. Ninja's pivot kill. grab game is just amazing. It's really good. <laughs> the range is incredible on it. Um, Cheesecake's really gotta get in, get this grab, and just end this game right now. There it is, that's it. Yep, just the, the up, uh, up smash and neutral, that's all it took right there. Yep. Um, but WTD definitely showing that he was trying to pull that around in the end. Um, I actually thought for a little bit, I was like, man, this is like turning around instantly. Yeah, I am. Yep. Right on. Yeah, um. so we did see a very good adaptation in that game from WTTD. He almost brought that back all the way. But Cheesecake had just racked up too much damage and just got the up throw for the confirmed kill. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what happens here. I w if I were WTTD here, I would definitely take Greninja to a platform stage if I could. Uh, Battle oh, I would. Or Dreamland. <laughs> Easily. Not from playing you, I would not do that. <laughs> Easy. I don't want to get up throw up there on the top platform. Well, the problem, well, the <laughs> thing is, is that Mario is way better at juggling Greninja on those platforms than vice versa. Sure. Plus, another thing is that, uh, oh, he actually chooses FD, which is an interesting pick because I thought his landings were where he took his most damage. So he actually gave himself less opportunity to land. So let's see if this pays off for him. Yeah, he's got a method. Um, I think honestly, it's gonna come down to who can who can maximize the most. You know, I, I always tell people to play this game like it's a shooter. You got you got an accuracy counter. If this game actually had somewhere where it could tell you the you know amount of hits landed, percentage of hits thrown and hits landed, you kind of want to make them all count in this game. Punishing, That's true. like punish, like the punish game in Smash Four is huge. It's all bait and punish. 
Um, so you want to be really, really careful sometimes. Uh, if, I mean, in a matchup like this, the way these two players are playing, that's how a lot of it, that's how a lot of this is going on right now. We're seeing a lot of baits, a lot of punishes, um, and that's you know like they're, they're punishing the roll, uh, looking to punish the you know spot dodge. So to catch up a little bit, um, we did see Cheesecake open up with a pretty solid lead, but WTDD has brought it back to within about 30%, which is not a terrible deficit when you're Mario and you can back up damage like crazy. Like this down throw, oh, he definitely could have gotten some more out of that. I felt like another up air would have been optimal. Good jab, jab, grab. They're looking for the roll read, but didn't quite get it. But he got the up smash. That's another thing about this matchup, is that an up close, Mario's up smash covers everything that Greninja wants to do. So this is why we're seeing Cheesecake kind of keep Mario out. Um, yeah, Cheesecake definitely looking, um, WTDD, look at right there, WTDD definitely throwing a lot of smash attack in neutral. Uh, Cheesecake's picking up on that. Um, you can tell, she's playing a much more patient game right now, and I think that's what's helping uh, a lot, especially in this matchup right Ooh, now. Ooh, that could have been her stock. He, she, that was pretty lucky that he, was, he missed that conversion. Yeah, the whiff. That was interesting. Ooh, wow. Good mix-up with the dare. All right, whiffs the grab, eats a forward smash. We see WTTD take the lead. Not too far behind for Cheesecake, but she can't let this game get away from her. Um, Got to get this kill pretty fast before Mario is able to get in and get a grab. Yeah, Mario is pretty much at full rage right now. So, <laughs> yeah, this oh, is where wow. you don't you don't want to get yeah. first hit of uh, <laughs> you don't want to die at 14, uh, which is very possible. Up throw is going to kill right about now, especially since it's fresh. If she can get in and get that up throw, I think she'll be fine. Um, it reset the whole game. But something that I have noticed a little bit is that Cheesecake's getting a little more... Okay, up throw not killing quite yet. Next one should. Yeah, Mario's pretty, Mario's pretty fat. Mario is pretty fat, and FD is a high ceiling. Oh, oh the jab is that. Oh, this is the follow-up. <laughs> but still a really nice setup from WTTD. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely. He's playing a much more patient game this time around. Uh, this is where Greninja kind of struggles a little bit. He gets behind, okay, gets the up throw, but still a 60% lead. Um, I think we saw Cheesecake get a little flustered there. Um, started throwing out some risky dash grabs, looking for that kill throw. Yeah, Mario's combo monster, so this is definitely, it's definitely a situation See? that you don't want to put yourself in. Yeah. Uh, especially off stage as Mario, that's, or against Mario. That's, catches the that's tough. Catches the roll with the up smash, uses Flood, gets her off stage. Yo, right now, WTTD telling Kim to cool off. <laughs> <laughs> he's having, he, he, I got water, too. I mean, he's, got, he's made of white water and fire. This man, like, he's controlling the heat of the match here. Yeah. I wonder how. I wonder what the temperature of that water is like. That up smash would have taken the game, I believe. It would have, probably. It was charged. All there right, it is. yeah. Where's the forward air? So we're we're going to see an up smash. 1-1. One, one. So, Cheesecake got up to a good lead, but I think she lost her composure a little bit, and that's where she lost the game. Mm. Um, she stopped throwing shurikens, she stopped spacing forward air, stopped trying to keep Mario out, and instead tried to go for dash pass. We're actually going to see the counter pick from WTTD. Yeah, I think he, I think it might have been a little too close for his taste. I think that uh, uh, maybe a character, he's thinking maybe a character switch will help close the gap, or uh, broaden that gap in the matchup there. I think that Kim's picking up on what he's doing. It is kind um, of a, yeah, it is kind of a wild card yep. pick, I feel like. It's just mm -hmm. like you have a plan going into game three, now what's your plan? Yeah, you got to be, I mean... You, you gotta be afraid of that because you, you mean, you, you're losing game one and then winning game two, but only you know only by it, it only seemed to be by a little bit there. Yeah. So uh, I think this might be a smart decision to try to break up, uh, you know, break up the flow. Duck Hunt, I feel, is a fantastic Greninja stage. Um, I don't know about this matchup, but just in general, is a really really nice Greninja stage. Down throw forward, it gets the first hit of a second one actually. So I'm pretty sure this is the main. Uh yes. Okay. Uh, He's been DIing those up throws backwards every single time. I would like to see Cheesecake notice that and jump up with a back air. Really nice use of the up tilt there, catching him twice while he's trying to land. Cheesecake's patience during this, this set, man. Yeah, it's like, been really nice. He's <laughs> been looking really good. And uh, WTD just making like he's making smart reads, uh, making a lot of them, and making really smart reads too. Near to up smash, that's confirmed. Misses the paralyzer shot and goes the wrong way. Gets jabbed for it and ends up off stage. Does the um, down B flip kick right on the stage? Cheesecake takes some heavy damage from that. Gotcha. Where's the grab? I hate that freaking the the, the 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 grass that pops up. I mean, yeah. I used to love this stage, so, you know, but it's just there's too many weird things going on. Oh, okay. Pops out of the top of the top of uh, the up B. Probably wouldn't have killed anyway, but oh, Cheesecake misses the angle. Gonna lose the stock. Really sad. Hate to see that. Yeah, we're still here. This is still anyone's game. Uh, CSS, you know, 
She can take stocks pretty early, but she also can die pretty early. Yeah, that up smash is going to kill right about. Oh, are we getting up smash? That's going to not quite take it. Ducked on pretty big along the sides, if I remember correctly. Yeah, not going to get a confirm off of that down throw for sure. So it'd be interesting to see how Cheesecake's going to land the kill here. I'm definitely feeling a forward air is going to do the trick. Uh, up throw will probably kill in about 15%, but you want to get that kill as soon as possible. WTDD definitely keeping his distance, knowing that he needs to just get the rack up some free damage. Okay, um, let's see how he can convert all of that. Waits for the Shadow Sneak. Very smart, very patient play from WTDD, just extending his lead. Looking for the get up roll. Didn't quite get it, though. Ooh, oh, that could have right. been it. That could have been it. That was strange. That, <laughs> that might have spiked. Sometimes it'll hit you upwards, you know. Uh, I think that... Uh, when you're up towards the top last zone, I've actually seen Get it go to grab. Off the top Oh, board, so. okay. Cheesecake DI's away from the down beat. All right, up throw with some rage. Gonna take it. Let's see if Cheesecake can get back into this game. Because the, the beautiful thing about this matchup is that if you know what you're doing, you're not gonna die to up beat as Greninja. So, uh, we got the lights about to fall over again. <laughs> Getting really close. I mean, that's kind of a common occurrence here at, uh, at the Smash Bewley, please. Oh, and okay. Misses the follow. -up. A little bit late on the timing. Ooh. Okay, let's see. We got an air. Paralyzer. Uh, misses the up B. Gets grabbed. Ooh, very nice. Waits out the air dodge. Gets enough smash. Yeah, I think uh, I think playing against Kanenji, you always expect a follow up. Uh, Kanenji's jump game is so fast that like <laughs> you expect him to come after you, so it's really easy to bait uh, for that. And That's, wow, oh, missing the follow up timing on that follow up. That is a guarantee if you get it. But. All right, another up throw, another up there pretty, okay, I have smash, that's going to take it, Unsafe landing. It. So that's a 2-1 to WTTD. Great set by both players. And, man, like, some of the, the momentum in that, in that, in that set was just